Hey guys. Um, I am very nervous right now because, oh my god, that's so loud. Um, I'm nervous because I'm using a new microphone and I've tested it a couple times and I'm convinced it should be working correctly, but still it's, it's a different vibe. Okay, a couple announcements to make. First off, I'm really sorry that I raged so hard last time. I listened back and I was like, okay, so for me, like, playing a game and, like, getting bummed out or angry or happy or excited about what's going on, I mean, for me, that's, like, a really big chunk of the fun. Um, so I really did mean it all in good fun, but um, I think listening to it sounds so much like real life rage that it could be annoying. I usually don't mind watching Let's Players when the Let's Players get mad at the game, unless it's like a very long continuous issue and they're just like willfully ignoring how the game is supposed to work. But I think in this case, it's like, I know the fishing isn't supposed to be quite that dysfunctional. It, like it gets stuck on the diagonals. Um, not that I was playing perfectly either, um, but anyway, I'm, I don't know. It's really hard to like balance authenticity and like wanting it things to be like entertaining I guess I don't know but all that to say I'm really sorry if it was too much hey Susie aren't you bored perfect timing Joe I want you to hang out with me if you have some time to spare <laughs> really sure glad I asked there's just one thing I have no idea what to do I just want to get out of here where my fans spot me oh I wonder what Naomi and Patsy are talking about I love secrets it's about Aurora hmm Juicy. What's that penguin up to? I hope this is Susie's good idea uh, idea of a good time because it's definitely mine. Just my own gossip. So we have a very classic cloudy day, which is not what was advertised on the title screen. If I'd known, I would probably would have waited to record because I have a lot of Mario Kart stuff to do. Quite a busy schedule I have. Uh, yeah, I have a couple bugs to turn in. But yeah, I'm I'm sorry if last time I mean I was really stressed out and you could probably tell, and so uh, I don't know I can't like I don't want to be dishonest because like ooh an emerald nice um because you know with a let's play with a game like this I'm gonna have to play sometimes when I'm not feeling a hundred percent up to it and I don't want to do a lot of stuff off screen. Um, but yeah, I get that it was maybe not that fun of an episode to listen to, so I do apologize if it wasn't. I'm really hoping this mic works correctly. I'm kind of nervous. Susie loves us. Okay, we have so much stuff to sell. So I, I looked up the mystery a couple weeks ago, but I don't remember what it is now. Um. And it is a new week, so, hey Billy. So there should be new lessons and new stuff in the, oh, there's the subject of gossip herself. What's up, Mikey? You might bl not believe this, but I seem to have a fever. I think I'll lay off the studies for a while and get some rest. Oh no, and we don't have, we don't have any remedies for him. I kind of forgot about that. What is Grimble wearing? He wears the dumbest shit. No offense. That's not even true. Not true. I'm gonna wait till like the last day of November to get my hair done because I'm pretty sure the choices are horrifying. But anyway, I was I was super stressed um, the past couple nights just with all the stuff that has to be done around the house. Maybe having a mild panic attack, I don't know. But I'm feeling better now. I got some. I got a lot of stuff in order. I have a lot of like I have to have the gas guy come and the water guy come and they have to do stuff. How did another shade remain sneak in there? I thought I was doing a good job of filtering those out. 
But anyway, I'm hoping that the mic quality is better. Really hoping. We'll see. Um, if this has no commentary at all, I'm going to be extremely sad. Um, but I did like five tests and they all worked, so... Uh, I guess if you're hearing me say this at all, then obviously it's fine. <laughs> and if it's, if it's not working, then you wouldn't be able to hear me express all this fear anyway, so it's kind of futile. Pizza! Give me pizza. P-I-C-Z-A. Antique table. Man, they keep offering us all this food. Toy block castle. Hmm. Maybe I'll partake. We already have a broom. Appreciate the thought. I guess we can just buy these. I, I, I feel like I have a full inventory, but I don't. So I realized that, so for like three years now, my, um, like the little cooling sink under my laptop has supposedly not been working. Like the two of fans work, but it's like a four fan one and the front two haven't been working. And while I was moving to set up over at the desk here, cause I finally got an office chair yesterday from Facebook marketplace. Um, I realized that one of the dial, like, the, there's actually dials at the back of this tray, and one of them was turned off. <laughs> so, this thing actually works perfectly fine. I'm just an idiot. Alright. Got some good stuff here. Haunted house walls. Definitely. I definitely want to do a haunted house. I really like this Japanese uh, wall as well, but I don't know if I would need it. I kind of like this too, but I, I don't know if I like it enough to need it. And this is good as well, but I never, um, I don't know. I don't really need it enough. It would just be a temporary stand-in um, in my haunted house room. I was waiting for the actual haunted house floor to show up, so probably not worth buying. Walls and floors I'm going to be pickier about because they're very easy to Ooh, a base. Man, instruments are so expensive. Holy shit. Um, that magic's... Ooh, blue serenade. Sister of mine, shine on me. I really have trouble reaching all four of these sometimes for some reason. Ooh, I just remembered I have all this leftover Chinese food from Black Friday. Natural disaster. Okay, this one's like a heavy metal song. I remember that. I probably don't need it right now. Um, Shine on Me. Okay, Sister's Mind like, is like a jazz song. I think I'll get that. <clears throat> Alright. That magic circle floor reminds me of like the dark days of the Animal Crossing fandom when we were all waiting for a Wii U title that never came. And then people kept doing those like summoning circles to like summon the next Animal Crossing game and I kept saying like, guys stop, these, this, these aren't working, they're having like an adverse effect. And I was like convinced, like in some superstitious way they were like... Oh, I totally forgot to order our Octopus Garden song. Ooh, Susie just floated. That was creepy. But yeah. By the way, when I was shit-talking the Animal Crossing fandom the other day, I was not referring to the Pocket Camp fandom at all. Like, I, I hope I made that clear. Everyone in the Pocket Camp community is insanely cool and nice. Okay, and not everyone. I mean, any community has some bad eggs, but what I'm saying is, like, I like the Pocket Camp community generally. I mean, the Discord's way cooler than the Reddit, but, um... That's just because you get to really know people over the Discord. Let's 
but yeah, I know I complained a lot last time, but I, I guess I just need to get some stuff off my chest. You know, every now and again, just some real talk, I guess. Okay, this is the one, I'm pretty sure. Yeah. Thank you. That one's Southern Cross. I thought Southern Cross was like a religious like worship song but it's i guess it's more about you know southern good times and you know drinking beer and uh catching fish <clears throat> <coughs> working on the tractor since i moved to the south i've been trying to work on my southern accent just a little bit it's probably pretty rough but uh, i think with some practice i can Yet it almost sounded authentic, which is my main goal. I just don't want it to sound put on. But you just gotta get <clears throat> that lazy southern drawl. <laughs> Excuse me, God. <sighs> yeah, I'll get the piss boy. I'm into that. Um, what was I saying? Oh no. Traffic jam. Okay. I'll come back here if I need that. I, I need to figure out... I hope the mystery's still going on. I It should be. But I haven't seen anyone talking about it. What's wrong? Why the long face? Is it all the horsing around you've been doing? Maybe you need a stable relationship, but um, tss. the word anything is quite dangerous, you know. Whenever somebody tells me to order anything you like, you can buy anything you want, according to my data. And I select the most expensive thing, they always look very angry. I don't think they understand the definition of the word anything. Yeah, I agree. Nah. Maybe. Miss Trout was looking for you, Geoff, according to my data. Maybe it has something to do with the shadow of the fog guy forest? Let me know if you hear anything. Okay, so there's... Oh, man. It's so creepy when they do that. I know it's just like a glitch or something, but they always look demon-possessed. I wonder what they're talking about. Whisper, whisper, whisper. Another rumor, Julie. Oh, I, I did hear something. Hmm, what secret? It's about Mikey. Susie just bored out of her skull. So, I finally rigged the mic to where I think it's in an okay place. It took some time, and I hope everything's, like, screwed together correctly. But I really can't make any promises. So we'll see what happens. Man, the, uh, the cloudy day music is so relaxing. It's not cloudy here. It's actually a beautiful day here. Oh my god, and I was taking a walk, and this, like, cute as fuck pug had escaped the ATV his owner was driving. It was this cute little one-eyed pug. I won't say his name because I don't want to dox the pug. But he was so cute, and he was just, like, running around this stranger's yard. Like, it wasn't the... Like, the guy who was trying to catch it, it wasn't his yard either. It was just some random person's yard, because he, like, jumped out of the ATV or something. And we were, like, trying to catch him for a few minutes. I can't help it, guys. I love pugs, and I love bulldogs. I love dogs with those unhealthy, squished faces. Don't worry, I have no plans to get one and, like, donate to... You know, those evil breeders. I know a lot of people are, like, really angry that people breed those dogs. But they're so cute. I don't know. Maybe I should get one anyway. Will I get cancelled if I do that? Okay, well, I've looked all around and I haven't seen any shadow, so... 
Oh, you know, while Susie's here, we should, like, take advantage and play a song. Because she's, like, the bitchinest music player with her bass. She's the best music player in town. Um, I guess I'm gonna... I'm gonna, like, duck in here really quick to, like, try to avoid her getting bored. It seems like if you move locations enough, they are less likely to get bored. Actually, while we're in here... Let's look at what we've caught this month so far. I don't know if I've shown this off yet, so apologies. Leatherfish, a, a fish with easily removed rough skin. That's kind of morbid. An intelligent eight-legged creature, the octopus, the squid, a ten-legged creature that squirts ink. A sea angel, a sea creature that is related to sea slugs, but much prettier. Spiny lobster, an expensive lobster loved by octopuses. <laughs> Maybe we should get one for our um, little place if octopuses love them so much. Lobsters are big and tasty crustaceans. A sea creature that uses gas to float and dive. Not a list. A sea, a deep sea fish with a long and flat body. The more fish. Didn't we catch one of those in the cave or something? Cameron creature B. A, a sea creature with l long legs and sharp spines. I feel like I learned the real name for this and I added it to the wiki. It was like hallucinogenia or something. A shark with reputedly stone-breaking hammer. Is that really true? Do they actually break stones with their face? I don't know. Oh, fuck. There's a bug. Shit. Okay, if I like swat the mic by accident, I apologize. Catfish. A nocturnal freshwater fish with whiskers. Oops. A delicious fish that lays a lot of eggs, consmel, black bass, and edible fish that is popular among fishermen. Canned tuna, a fish with tough skin and tasty flesh. Uh, Leviathan spawn, gross. Savage offspring that shies from thrown buckets. What does that mean? Who's throwing buckets in the water? Vampire squid, a sea creature that uses snow sonar to catch prey. Doesn't it look like stretched out? Like it looks like they got the aspect ratio wrong for this creature. All right, I'll look at the bugs later. Um, I do want to register the two I caught. I do like Susie's outfit, even though I'm not a big fan of hers in general. But yeah, I think um, I think I have a couple fruit flies coming from the hermit crab tank, um, and it's because I had it sealed, so it got super humid in there, which I'm sure was the goal. But I guess fruit flies managed to get in, and they really loved it. That's my story. But uh, I still need to figure out where I'm putting their uh, the its tank, because upstairs is more temperature regulated, but downstairs is closer to the kitchen sink. Okay, let's find a little music group to join. I bet there's going to be a good crowd at the school. Right now it's just Billy. Oh, Billy and Mikey. That might be enough. Um, so what have we just learned? Let's try like the end of me. Ooh, this could be a good group if Susie gets over here. Okay, the whistling sounds really bad in the headphones I'm using. Nobody's interested. So I'm hoping that it doesn't sound quite as... Grimble's just like standing there. What? Are they like exchanging a rumor? Because they don't appear to be talking. This game is so glitchy. <laughs> I love it. Okay, this... This isn't working. Where's Fifi? I feel like I haven't seen her in ages. What are they doing? Losers gossiping instead of playing awesome songs with me and Susie. If you want to be that way, fine. I'm just going to be over here being cool. Um, seriously, though, where did everyone go? 
it's very hard to wrangle together a group. We've gotten really lucky on this file so far. I mean, Naomi and Becky, that's a good group. Let's do an all-girl band. Let's try... What's 18? It's probably really bad, but... Oh. Isn't that that? Isn't this the song I said was like about Italian moms or something? <laughs> I don't remember the band that we had for this song, but I'm, I think it might be almost identical to this, so I'm sorry if this is just a repeat. But yeah, I did, I was so curious because I wanted to name the last episode something good, so I did look up the name of that song because it felt, I don't know, there's something about the vibe of that song, Southern Cross, that really tied the whole episode together for me. So I did look it up in a moment of weakness, and then I even looked up, oh, is Nigel joining us too? Oh, yes. Okay, I'm sure this is not a total repeat now. I'm always forgetting my train of thought. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. And so I also, in my quest, I also listen to... So there's a website that has the soundtrack, and it has a version of, like, the live versions that have, like, all the pieces going on at once, which is, I think, impossible to actually achieve in the game. So it feels like breaking the rules a little to listen to it, and I did listen to it for Southern Cross. Just a, just a few seconds. guilty about it just because I like I like it being a surprise when I you know play a live something and, and I'm not sure how it's gonna sound that was really great guys thanks I think Susie's done she's like trying to tell me she's done Ooh. wait volume control is the really interesting one I wonder if we could get a full band for this. Oh my god! Okay, so what I'm saying about the bass is so true. Like, this, this song did not work at all before. But if you add in the bass, it's like perfect. It makes perfect sense. Side effects? Didn't we learn side effects? What does that sound? Oh yeah, this is the one that sounded really bad. Or just like really awkward. <laughs> okay, the bass doesn't let make this one make sense. I don't know if this live version is ever going to make sense, no matter how many instruments you add on to it. electric guitar I feel like um, as far as instruments go so in real life I play the piano a little bit oh there's another mandragora root um, but I and you there's no piano in magician's quest so I'm thinking my what is Patsy doing um I feel like acoustic guitar is most my style. I feel like I was pl if I was playing any of these. I did used to play the snare drum just a little bit in like fifth grade. 
Okay, we have a bunch of random stuff. I guess I'll put the sundial upstairs. I smell like bug spray because I put some bug spray on to like hang out outside and watch the sunset, but um, <laughs> it was like too cold and I'd already been, been on a walk, so I didn't. Okay, so we realized, what is it, French cooking he doesn't like? But I don't know if the other things we got here are the exact same. Uh, category. I could be wrong, but didn't Victoria and Sanderson both like the same stuff? No, that's not true. I think we've switched, because Victoria liked pizza. And then, oh, I don't remember. Anyway. I feel like a sundial needs to be in a room that gets sun or it's not going to work. And don't forget, forget to turn it slightly to change the time back for uh, daylight savings time. Oh yeah, I got the piss fountain. I wonder where it should go. I, don't, I think I'm just gonna put it in, well, maybe I'll just put it in storage. I don't know if I really need it here. I could put it in the like casual relaxing room. This is the spooky room. Ooh. This fireplace will look a lot better now that we've changed it. Nice. I don't know what it is, but I love stuff like this. Like, the decorating options in Magician's Quest are just amazing for me. Okay, I'll have to store some of those. Man, I have that. Uh, acoustic, acoustic version of um, a volume control in my head now. Yeah, I think we can put this in here. I kind of wish I got the jungle gym now. I think that would look really fun upstairs. Okay, it's almost six o'clock, so maybe I should like, I don't know. I feel like I've been too task oriented. Maybe I shouldn't, you know, care so much. I'm gonna, and I'm gonna have time to play later this week anyway, so it doesn't matter if I get every single lesson right this second. All the same. I guess I might as well I'll go check it out. Man, Billy's like really gunning for our friendship now. I feel like that's gonna be the only thing he asks every time. Is it just my imagination? Is the game lagging a little more? You're always working so hard, Geoff. It's quite inspiring. World Tree. I don't remember this one. I don't think I've ever taken this one. Okay, everybody. I'm going to speak to you today about... Uh, I'll just use my normal first. About the World Tree incantation. The World Tree Spirit judges how things are going here in this town. I've definitely never learned this before. Okay, I'll show you how- I'll show you step by step. Now listen carefully. First, go to the entrance of the Fungi Forest. Next, transform into a wizard and chant the magic linguistic spell. Then, if you pass through the entrance to the forest, you will to meet the World Tree Spirit. The magic linguistics you, are, you need are written on the blackboard. Be sure to memorize them. Incantation Greeting Tree. Simple enough.
Ask me, ask me. The toilet. Wow. We have so many scary girls in our class. Aurora's the only one I would consider dating, though. Oh, sorry, I just yawned again. How are you? I was reading a detective story in bed. It was such a good story. I couldn't wait to learn what would happen next. So I kept reading and reading and never went to sleep. <laughs> Eventually the sun came up, and I even forgot to go to school. Oh. Huh. Oh, well, this is terrible. Miss Straw was looking for you, Jia. <laughs> Maybe it has something to do with the shadow in the fungi forest? Let me know if you hear anything. Aurora's really cute. Should we go after her? I feel like... Uh, I don't know. I really liked Grimble at the beginning. Then after we lost our save data, he turned into a jackass. That's not true. We're sick as thieves. We're good buddies. Okay, everyone is telling me the exact same thing. I don't know if there's even any, uh, any other dialogue options. I think it's like the third time in a row. Well, Miss Straw does not want to talk to us now, so we'll have to talk to her in the teacher's lounge after, like, four minutes. Oh, I wonder... I wonder if the Vladimir and Vivian episode is still going on, because I totally forgot to check up on it last time. Not that I don't think Mr. Vladimir was anywhere to be seen, though. What are I was doing? Oh yeah, I was checking to see if there was a uh, song in the night before the hour changed. Nope. No thanks. Oh my god. That was a bad idea. So I really don't know, does it change monthly? And like, I, I don't know. I'm gonna try to figure out the pattern. Oh shit, I already can't win in here. I meant to go into the clothing store. So many of these shirts I look at and I think that Sanderson wore them at some point. Butterfly shirt, that's really cute. I'm not gonna ever wear it, but it's pretty cute. I'm gonna try it on though. No. Some shirts are cute in theory. I look like a grandma or like one of those, like someone's crazy aunt. Dwarf outfit pants? I thought that was like a cowboy. I don't understand how that's related to dwarfs at all. Okay. Oh, trekking shoes. Those are the trekking shoes? Sink and everything. 
Um, hey, Sammy. You're looking very festive. Ah, uh, Ruthie, you get me some shut out today. I just got up earlier than usual. Having trouble with your studies? Feeling down about something? If you're having problems, Joff, you can come to me anytime. I was willing to lend an ear to an old friend, just like that. I mean, I really ain't gonna lend in my ear, but I will listen to what you gotta say. Well, I don't think penguins have ears anyway. Did you hear the rumors about some strange monster in the Fungi Forest? First time I heard it, I was really scared. Darn too. Then I heard, learned that it's actually really small. Oh my god, that was weird. Maybe it's not so dangerous, even for me. Hmm, but there are lots of little animals that hurt when they buy it, right? I think the safest policy is to just stay clear of Fungi Forest for a while. That was weird. It was like I blacked out. Like I had a seizure or something. Okay. Now we can check out the school again. I can't remember if Vladimir comes after Mistra or... Yeah, he does. Uh, so I guess we'll have to play till 7 because I want to check on the Vivian thing. Let's learn about our feelings. In today's class, we are going to talk about how to express your feelings. If you do not show your feelings properly to other people, then you might be misunderstood. Look at the blackboard. You can combine these magic linguistics to show how you feel right now. <laughs> Me and happy when you feel good. Me and happy, sad when you feel down. Me and angry when you are mad. It's really very simple, and you can ask another person how they feel by changing me to you. This is great, so if someone's pissed off, you can use these satanic symbols to figure it out. Jeff, what's up? I was wondering what town you're from. Please let me know. Or was trying to dox us. With a smile. And I don't know if you can hear my tummy rumbling, but I am getting a little hungry. I cannot wait to eat those, dive into those Chinese leftovers. Oh no! <laughs> we suck. Aww. Okay, well, can I take the lesson over? And like, get the correct answer that way? Oh, intervention time. Why is Naomi always the one who's getting <laughs> interventions? Are you trying to hide something? Where has it? You're moody and depraved. <laughs> I wonder what in the world happened. I'm kind of worried. It's true though. Naomi was guzzling gas with abandon and it was her undoing as she disappeared from the town probably perished oh my god i have never seen that dialogue before that was great <laughs> depraved oh my god Well, maybe I can retake it tomorrow and give the correct answer. All right, let's see what Miss Straw has to say. Mr. Oakley. Your so hard, Jeff. It's quite inspiring. Oh, what is it? Chat. Jeff, you'd like to see a lovely and charming fairy, wouldn't you? Uh, not really. Now's the time when we have a chance to see one. But there's one condition. We need all the students in this class to believe they exist. Though it seems that not everyone in the class even believes in fairies. I was hoping you'd convince them for me and get them to believe. Can I count on you, Jill? Then we can all go see a beautiful and elegant fairy. Okay, then. You'll do it, okay? This seems a bit cultish, but alright. Make sure everyone believes in fairies. We'll stamp out any slivers of doubt with pure.
pure adamant behavior. I don't know what I'm saying. We'll make sure it happens now. Alright. Oh, hey, Mikey. I'm so sorry you're not feeling bad. Yeah, definitely get some rest. I have to keep an eye out for any berries that I could make a remedy out of. But I have a feeling, because we sold so many, I mean, sort of two days ago, but also technically yesterday. It was like yesterday night at midnight. But yeah, I don't think we have any berries to spare. I can visit the island and see if there one washed up, which happens fairly often somehow. Oof, my back is starting to hurt a little. It's not good. <clears throat> Big Katie did. Isn't that the shade? Isn't that the shade remain size? Mm -mm. No, I haven't looked it up. I'm worried it might be though. Okay, I said I was gonna change my clothes. I'm really glad that we got our room looking a little better. I was really sad after we lost that other stuff. Juno would be really good in here. I feel like this is just the perfect song for our room. Alright, what do I want to change into? Definitely want the chic flannel shirt that... I forgot about that snakeskin shirt. I don't know if we're actually ever going to wear that. Huge. Oh my god, this song is so good. <laughs> the live version doesn't work as well. actually a TV? Are you kidding me? Oh man. I had no idea. That's so cool. I don't really know how the TVs work in this game. Like, I think they all show the same thing, but like, I don't know if there's like a schedule like there is in the later Animal Crossing versions. I know in the first Animal Crossing game, each TV has its own thing that it shows instead. Okay, I gotta store some stuff. I gotta get rid of this stanky-ass mushroom. What? No, what? What am I pressing? Is it this one? Oh, okay. Uh, yeah, that one. Go away. Man, my, my shoulder is, like, not happy. I 
I think these desk arms are the highest they can be, though. So I'll just have to deal. Oh, right. I have to, like, convince everyone to believe in fairies or something. Okay, that's fine, but do you believe in fairies? Okay. Um. But do you believe in fairies, though? Hey, Grimble. Uh, not really. I mean, maybe it was technically true, but, like, the, the spirit of it wasn't true. Okay, why is no one talking about fairies? Oh, okay, recently everyone was talking about fairies. I really don't think such things exist. Do you agree with me, Jeff? No, they totally exist. Oh my god, this is gonna take forever, I'm realizing, because, like, I think that one conversation, it took a little while to get to it, and it, I just still don't think we convinced him. <laughs> this is so funny. <laughs> just harassing everyone in town to believe in fairies. Wow, where you can get like a really good look at your character upstairs like this. I love Mikey's squished face. I know I say that every time we hang out, but it's so true. He's just adorable. Okay, I hope we have enough furniture in now, uh, in here now to appease Mikey. I guess it's only three pieces though. It might not be enough. Does he like pizza? Ooh, okay, that's a good sign. I think I think that means that's his fave. Oh my gosh, I'm so hungry. I might need to pause to like eat something. So I am a big boba tea fan. I love it, especially honeydew flavor. But I mean, I like a lot of different flavors. And um, since moving here, I have tried two places and they're just not as good as this really good boba place where I used to live. And I'm like super distraught. Well, I'm not super distraught, but I really want to find some like excellent bubble tea. Exist? Okay, he still doesn't believe they exist. Do we just have to talk to every single person in class? Oh. Okay. Some some story happened with Fifi that I just scrolled through. I'm sorry. Okay, but we need to talk about fairies. Oh yes, I believe in fairies. The little creature I saw in one guy first was the fairy, no doubt about it. Can you keep a secret? I'd love to meet when I have a chat, but how do you go do that? Okay, so Becky's a believer. This just like takes me back to the This takes me back to the days um where on like the third Sunday of every month we would have to like go around the neighborhood and like you know, spread Jesus' word and everything. It was very uncomfortable. <laughs> I have become quite interested in poetry. I've even been writing poems in my notebook. A few days ago, I accidentally turned in some poems along with my homework. According to my data, my teacher ended up grading them both. What do you think that says about my poetry? Okay, so Billy's a believer. What about Sammy? To a restaurant with your friends, you get all upset about the bill? Just like that. I'm a firm believer in going Dutch. Wow, I wouldn't expect that phrase to be in this game. How else would I get so much food for so little money? I wonder what that, what the origin of going Dutch is. Like, do Dutch people split, you know, their food costs more than other cultures? <laughs> Oh, that's cute. Okay, so Sammy believes as well. 
Let's stop by Limelight while we're with Mikey. Although I'm starving to death, so maybe we should um, get noodles too. We have quite a lot of money from the last mystery time. I'm liking this quest though. Ooh. I don't remember what this song is, but I like it. I really love our shirt. I don't think Mikey and I are lifers, but we are definitely really good. I want to be really good long-term friends with him. I think our friendship's pretty solid. It's not like... Like with Sanderson, it was very like nerve-wracking. I was like really scared all the time that like it wasn't going to work out. I got into this weird obsession in my last file. I mean, um, but this feels like chill. It feels very natural to hang out with him a lot, which is good. Oh, I don't like it when she purrs. <laughs> I was using weird all alone at night. Yeah, that's true. Girl needs to have her dreams, you know. Of course, some girls are cuter than any fairy, right? In any case, fairies do exist. I'll bet you anything. Okay, so she believes... Um, who lives in the apartment building? Nigel. Ugh, I can't believe I have to talk to Nigel for this quest. I think Becky said she believes. Yeah. And Grimble doesn't believe. I don't know if Nigel's home though. I think he was like fishing. I don't think we've ever been to Nigel's house. I don't think we've been to most houses actually. I like that little common area down there. Seems like it'd be a fun place to hang out. Okay. 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 Nobody's home. Going door to door. I'll probably name this episode something about that unless something crazier happens later. A missionary for fairies. Yeah, so here's the problem. Um, so because I'm using a, a microphone that's not a headset now, I need to use different, like separate headphones. And um, if I plug it into the microphone itself, I get really good quality, but then I'm also hearing my voice, which is a little weird for me. Um, so the alternative, I plugged in my um, headphone jack into my... Um, we can stop by the island um, into the computer itself but I'm not getting very good quality like God, it sounds a little crunchy and I really hope that's it's probably not like going to transfer to the recording because it's just an issue of the headphones I got some cheapo Sony ones but I had a better pair but I seem to lose a pair of headphones like once every two months <laughs> Oh, Mikey looks so cute. Actually, it looks like the taxi's like really jammed up his crotch area, so I hope he's okay. Wouldn't be very comfortable. On, uh, overall, this looks extremely uncomfortable. Like the, <laughs> like the body of this looks so thin that it's like you're sitting on a metal, a thin metal bar. Like, not even, like, a smooth one. Like, one that's, like... It's like a vertical bar. I don't know what I'm saying. 
All right, do we have a berry over here? No, it's rotten. Why is that the case? I really don't understand why. I don't know if Vivian, if Malila needs these, but just in case, I guess. I guess we do some fishing while we're here. Oh, no we can't, because we're totally full on inventory space. Well, that was fun. Actually, I should probably pick up this spoiled berry, just in case. I, I don't know if it will help a new one spawn, but... Yeah, we have nothing to offer Mikey as far as remedies go. So that's not good. I could try planting some. I think if I remember la from last time, uh, the, the ones that help are... Blueberry, blackberry, and cranberry? Or is it blueberry, raspberry, and cranberry? I don't want to check with Malaya because it takes forever to like get through the dialogue. But the tricky thing is it like constantly switches. Although it's sort of a good thing because that means if you have only one kind of berry, you can, you can maybe get the right kind of remedy if you just keep asking Malila, but I don't really understand the logic of how that changes. But yeah, I'm I'm hoping the sound quality is okay. During the testing, it sounded really good. It sounded better than the headset for sure, so I'm hoping the quality's decent. I've heard really good things about this microphone. Um, it was a uh, hundred bucks. And oh my god, I'm so fucking broke. <laughs> I am desperately trying to get to Christmas. It's really weird that winter is going to start soon. I don't know if like right on December 1st the ground is going to change. But I think it's a good possibility. Okay. I don't think that's what she needs. I'm gonna take it back real quick. Uh, I'm gonna take everything back just to check. Porcini, Viscuit, and Ram's Head. Okay. I wonder if any of those are. I don't remember what a porcini looks like. I don't know if I'm even saying that correctly. Dang, okay, our funds are rapidly running out. That said, though, um, if we... Grimble, we've got to convince him. Best friends should help each other become better people. And maybe, just maybe, I'll fix one of my bad habits for you, Geoff. Oh, that's nice. Yeah, like that. Like making us fart. That would be a great bad habit to fix. No, that's not what I mean. Why won't you believe in fairies, Grimble? It says right here in the Bible, Prometheus 15.1, and behold, one day uh, Jesus became came upon a fairy and was like, wow, I guess fairies exist. It's classic Bible verse. Okay, I totally missed all of that. Maybe if I was listening better, he'd be more receptive to my fairy gospel. Grimble! Believe in fairies! Oh no, he's talking with Naomi. I don't think we've talked to Naomi yet about it. Okay, that's right. I'm here. 
Okay. So she believes in fairies too. Grimble is our... One student is giving us a hard time. On my next day off, I'll be getting the book I asked for. I bet I'm the only one in this town to get my hands on books before they go on sale. Would you like to see it? I'll show if you want, but only the first page. What's the point of only seeing the first page? So it's really interesting because in Animal Crossing, you'll have... Um, secret is that she's depraved. I feel like the exact same thing is going to happen. She's going to start drinking gasoline again, and then she's going to fall ill because it's not good for you. It's not full of vitamins and nutrients. Yes, they do. Oh, thank God. Happy to uh, instill my delusions into your soul. What is this? Fly aggro. Okay, that's not what we mean. Okay, so we also need to talk to Nigel. I don't think we've talked to Aurora or Fifi about this topic. And where does he even live? Alright. Thanks for hanging, Mikey. Had fun time. Always fun hanging out with you. Patsy. Something tells me Patsy is too depressed to believe in fairies. So cute. She has like a weird like dot in her paste hair now. So I looked up on YouTube the um like what a Mont Blanc is. And I can I can see the resemblance. Holy shit. So I watched the first video of it. It was so disgusting. <laughs> they like put the like, mix this chestnut paste together and they like pour it on in these like like grayish brown like spaghetti noodle paste things it looks so gross whoa she's wearing the butterfly shirt i think that's like okay i couldn't tell if like her previous thing was like, like an indication she believed in fairies or like if it... all right she's just not she's just not Okay, so Grimble believes. Nigel might not believe. I love our character, we're so cute. I definitely am happy with the face I picked out. Where does everyone live in this stupid town again? Passa lives there, Naomi lives there, Susie believes. Mikey... We actually don't know if Mikey believes. We, we spent all that time with him and I didn't ask. Aurora, Fifi, and Mikey all live over there. Okay. I'm gonna check for some more mushrooms. Oh, they're... Oh, fuck, 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 fuck. Um, I need to store all that stuff. And then there's also a flower I need. I don't know why I need it. They just said I needed it in the... Um, in the like mystery time guide, not the not the the mystery guide. So I'm gonna grab that from my. Uh, from my not my storage, my home storage. I think I have one in there. way too much Mario Kart again. I have a ton of shit to do in that game before the tur end of the tour tomorrow night. Such a busy gamer. Is that a porcini? No, that, no. King Oyster, okay. And that's field, and the, the red one is forest? I don't know. 
Um, wait, isn't Porcini like the one that looks like that, but it's like hot pink? It's like a dark hot pink. That could be right. What was I doing? Oh yeah, I was getting the flower. Oh, my shoulder is killing me. I'm getting old. I wish you could have like songs playing all the time, like by default, like you can do in um Oops. I don't even know how that happened. I think I might be able to make it into this episode before I have to eat. Oh my god, did you hear that? I don't know if you could hear that, but I'm definitely hungry. I have a pair of scissors at this desk. Do you ever just like cut things for fun? Like not paper, but I have like a paper bag here that I'm, well, I guess it is paper then, but just like random items. Okay, where's Patsy? Here she is. Don't get back on that bench. We need to talk about fairies. Some people have the ability to brighten up any party. They just have to show up and everyone feels better. <sighs> I wish I was like that. You should sign twice in a row. Okay, so when Grimble was doubting fairies, we actually like had a choice in the conversation. So I'm guessing because we don't have a choice there, then Patsy does believe in fairies. All right, I don't know about, okay. Like, I decided to believe in fairies too. Well, to me, so I researched about where to find one. And it seems they are like they are in fire, fungi forest. Fungi forest is so full of mushrooms, it'll be hard to find something so small though. I love his room. This is a really good vibe. It's like nice and simple. Nice basket of oranges here. Nice traditional Japanese. It's definitely more fun hanging out together, Mikey. I would agree. Not just because you're a good monkey musician either. Because Becky's one too, so it's not the only reason. Okay, so Aurora is... No, that's Fifi's house. Fifi's not home. How am I supposed to convince Fifi to believe in fairies if she doesn't... I wonder if she's in the classroom still? Man, there's quite a crowd over there. Yeah, I have no idea where Aurora and Fifi are. Um, the only other thing I can think of is if they're in a store, but I don't think they are. Okay, uh, they are in here, perfect. Classwork, classwork. Let's talk about fairies. How are you? When you have a chore, do you just finish it right away? Or do you leave it for later? Um, it really depends on the chore. I guess I, it's like a medium. I just try to, I try to think of the optimal time to do it. I, I guess I usually do it right away. The quicker you get, Excuse me. The quicker you get it done, the more free time you have afterwards. <laughs> when it comes to chores, it's best to plan ahead. Okay. Okay, so Fifi's a believer. Is there something you want to talk to me about? I baked some cookies and I was taking them over to my friend's house, but I dropped them. I had to eat them all myself. My senses tell me they were so tasty. Your your sense of taste would tell you that. It was such a shame I couldn't share them with my friend. Okay, so... Oh, Aurora wants to play? Yeah, let's do it. I'd like to get to know her more. Okay, so we just need one more, which is Nidal. 
This is a fun quest. This is one of the more fun mystery quests. Um, it's fun to like have to hunt people down and uh, dog them about their beliefs. Is that the right word? Dog them? Um, well, let's get our compatibility read. Oh, I don't know if I finished learning the song. I didn't. Well, that's no good. <laughs> you two are so cute together. Mind telling me a bit about you two? Um, no problem. Well, from what I've heard, you you always see changes in life to deepen your relationship. And Aurora will have no problem in accepting those changes you see. Oh, wow, that's great. That's great. So she is the self-paced type, it seems like. I get that. She's like kind of uh she seems a little woo-woo. She's a little out there, so she probably is cool with changes. Yeah, um I keep checking OBS just to make sure my mic is still working. I'm like really paranoid. I don't know, but I'll consider declaring my love for Aurora. She really is a sweetie. Now, her personality is not my typical type. I usually seem to be drawn to the depressed personalities most. But Patsy is just... She's so depressing, it's just depressing. It's not, like, sweet. That one reminds me of like a casino or something, or like just feels like a, a big show or something. I'm like stretching my neck a little. My friend sent me some exercises to do, but I haven't done them yet. with her. Don't do nudes on a first date. Well, you know. You do you, actually. But I'm not gonna. I wonder if you can get any lobsters. Squid. A very big squid. Not bad. It's very hard to see the ripples in this weather. It's impossible. I don't really even know how that happens. So do you never want to fish at a, a diagonal at the beach? I feel like that's becoming the lesson. I don't know. 
Should we check the island again just to make sure the berry doesn't respond? Because I'm, I'm kind of desperate. I really don't want Mikey to get sick. He's kind of my favorite right now. I guess we can do that real quick. All right, do we have any of those viscid mushrooms up here? Also coral, viscid, all right. Risk it for the biscuit. I'm kind of still surprised we haven't had any move outs or move ins uh, this whole playthrough yet. Yeah, this is what our. Episode 7, I think. Oh my god, also, so I was like, because the last... Oh, I, I don't know if I forgot to mention this, but um, I, I couldn't figure out how to stitch the two videos together. It seems like the simplest fucking task, right? Like, YouTube should be able to do that. Like, it's not even editing. It's just putting the two videos, like, one after the other. No space or transition between them. That's it. It really didn't seem like it'd be hard, but like I could not find a file, a program to do it. And I found I found some to do it, but they wouldn't do it while maintaining this particular aspect ratio. So then you couldn't be able to watch that episode in on your phone as easily or whatever. So that's no good. So I I I just decided to post it in two parts. Um there probably are some programs, but I don't know. I just wasn't feeling like digging around. I think Camtasia maybe was one. But yeah, I didn't feel like trying it, really. So, like, watching Love is Blind again has made me want to get back into The Bachelor. Because I'm like, The Bachelor is a better show. I mean, it's absolute garbage. But, um... It's, like, slightly better garbage. I don't even know what's going on with that, with that show. I was watching it for a while, and then it just, like, got a little too... I don't remember what happened. I was watching that one season where it was the first Black Bachelor, and he picked this white girl, but then... Well, maybe I shouldn't even talk about this. I don't want to get too much into politics and, or whatever on this channel because I, I don't want to stress anybody out. But basically, like, stuff came out about her and she got canceled and then he, like, dumped her and it was, like, really depressing. Like, I find, I found it very, very depressing and just kind of sad all around. Like, she seemed very, very sad and remorseful. And I guess for some people that's not good enough, but I I like to give people a benefit of the doubt in some situations like that. I just really felt bad for him. I think she's doing better now, but Yeah, and at the I don't know. I, I guess at that point I was just like it just made me realize like how much that show is getting affected by social media. Like how much it's driven by social media i mean some people so many people are on there not because they're interested in each other or whatever but they wanted you know to get a bunch of followers so they can sell uh sponsors like sponsored posts on their instagram or whatever and you know i respect the hustle you know you do you but it just stops becoming uh you know TV that's good. It is an interesting experiment though, like it's kind of like polyamorous or whatever, because you know, by the end it's always one man or one woman dating several others. And it just gets very weird. You know, some some people get really jealous and some are just like more trusting. They're just like, you know, you do what you want. But like the the environment of the show just makes you crazy because they take away your phones. I don't think you can even have fucking books. I could be wrong. But like they purposefully bore you to tears so that you care so much about, more about getting time with the bachelor or bachelorette. Which is really scary. <laughs> it is kind of scary how they 
uh, make that show. I watched Unreal, which is this like drama, and it's written by someone who used to work on The Bachelor shows, and it kind of shows you some of the dirty tricks that he used. And I mean, Unreal is like insanely overdramatic drama itself, um, but it still shows you a little bit of what they, some of the stuff they might do, even if a lot of it is also like, whoa, this is way too crazy, but this would never happen. I'm kind of sad that we can't like play good music with um, Aurora though, because she whistles. Man, lots of leatherfish in the water today. I probably should have looked up which uh, kind of leatherfish gives shade remains, if any. Because I'm sure I'm going to get one or two now. Is something coming after this? I can't see. Aurora, what do you think? Oh, I'll land a cute one. I'm going to try. But I don't know. I don't think there's anything out there anyway. I would be less mean if they kept up better. <laughs> it's just like they're gonna be with you, so it's not a big deal. Um, all right, let's go. Let's go hunting for Nigel. Well, ready to go away for Billy. Okay, last I saw him, to my memory, he was uh, around here. Hoping to God that's not. <laughs> of course, like I don't like bugs. If you don't like bugs, we might not get along actually. Okay, we're all full up. Where is Nigel? Nigel, Nigel, Nigel. Where could you be? We're looking on land after looking in the sea. To make sure you believe in a fairy. So please talk to me. That's my hunting for Nigel song. Okay, where is he? Is he like in the um He lives in the apartments, right? So we've checked there and he's not there. Is he in the fungi forest actually? Oh yeah, there he is. Okay, I meant to talk to Nigel. I was just sitting there by the river looking at the lure bob in the water, but every time I catch a fish and look into its eyes, my senses tell me I always feel kind of bad. I get it. Fish are cute. Oh, okay. Well, we better haul ass then because it's almost night. Holy shit. I'm guessing seven, night starts at like 7 o'clock. Okay, but that's everybody. Everybody seems to believe in fairies, so let's get this done. Chop, chop. out every last vestige of doubt everyone believes it feels very wrong I'm very against forcing beliefs in other people but I guess it's for a good reason looking at a fairy Okay, 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 but like where, where, where do you do it? Just anywhere in the fungi forest or does it need to be somewhere in particular? Enchanted bros, mysteries. This is somewhere on the ground. Okay, my Q 
keyboard's not working right or something. Uh, fungus forest during daytime. Does it mean actually in the forest? Is this the forest or is there the forest? to pray that, that this is right. I'm gonna pray that's right. Oh, you know what? I, I have time. I will get a second one and I'll put it inside. Safety first, she's so cute. <laughs> <laughs> Safety first. Love writing your broom. So Grimble was the only one who was doubting. Am I wrong? I I, I think so. If I'm remembering correctly. I got more now because I, I don't know where exactly to put this. It doesn't matter what area of the forest you place it in. Because now I'm thinking like, oh, do I need to put it in the back of the forest? But this is like the front is where all the flowers usually bloom. So it's probably correct. I just really wish I had a third one. I feel like there was a and I think I saw another one yesterday, but I think it's wilted today. I think it was the one on the, um, uh, on the Cliff of Lover's Point. Alright, I'll put it in here. Oh, there's some good mushrooms in here. I'm gonna try to come back, remember to come back here and get the mushrooms after I'm done clearing my inventory. Where is a cutie? I don't know, she like intimidates me a little for some reason. I don't really know why that is. But I think I just need to remember she's actually very gentle as far as her personality, so I really don't have to worry. All right, I'm gonna... Let's see, what do we have here? Mostly fish. I think I'll do the bugs and then skip recording the fish. Just because if I pause now, I feel like Aurora might leave in between. I don't want to get that. I don't want to have that happen off camera. Getting some decent rewards, actually. So the big size of the KD did is good, actually. I was worried. Oh, maybe that sounded familiar because I was. It was on the. Um... Yeah, because I was trying to memorize which ones would give gold and silver ore the other day. Okay, I am gonna pause this, so I'll be right back. Okay, this is the last one, and. Um... I feel like I'm gonna change my policy. Like I'm not gonna stop recording if I'm with a if I'm with a classmate because it you just sometimes you miss stuff. Cause she did the little heart emotion, and I guess that's not that important to get on camera, but I would have liked to get it on camera. So 
So according to this guide, seven o'clock is the cutoff for like when, like daytime versus night. So hopefully this works. Oh, I'm also gonna stop by Vivian's boutique and see if she has anything more to say. I think I think we missed the end of the episode, maybe. Um, I was really hoping to get every episode, but maybe we didn't. Yeah, I think we didn't finish that. I should probably look this up. I think they have all of the dialogue on here. Episodes. Um, ah, oh, yeah, we missed it. Oh, but now we have a new one. Okay. Let me see if I can find this, Mr. Vlad and Vivian. Sorry about this. I'm just looking. Okay, so the thing we missed was Mr. Vlad says, um, not all try to run away. I'm not planning on giving you a lecture today. I get the feeling that you too do not like me very much. I think I understand. Maybe you have a problem with the thing I way I do things. But even so, don't you know it is necessary for some adults to act like this? I always hope that students will one day understand that... Oh, never mind. I'm not looking for anyone's thanks anyway. Okay, we really didn't miss that much. It just sort of... You can like ask Vivian if she could ever get along with Mr. Vlad and she's like, ha ha, don't, you're a riot. Don't be ridiculous. And then she's like, eh, maybe, maybe a point. There's a couple times he's told me something when maybe he was trying to make me a better person. And basically Mr. Vlad also saying like, I know I'm not very popular, but I do this because I care. Well, he doesn't really say that, but that's like sort of the implication that like he's trying to, he, if he's strict, it's because he wants his students to be better people. Stuff like that. Okay, well, we have a whole nother minute. Not really sure what to do. I know I said I'd grab those, uh... I said I'd grab those, um, mushrooms deeper in the forest. I don't think I'm going to cut my hair today, but I want to be prepared. Okay, so we have the granny gray pigtails, the green mop top, and the pink bob cut. I feel like I wore the pink bob cut a little bit on my file before, and I think that's what I'm gonna end up doing. The mop top, I like green, but the mop top style looks so bad. <laughs> um, now another question is, can we see a fairy with Aurora? Or do we have to go alone? Good question. Because she's really sticking with us. I guess we have been swapping locations a lot. Probably take this lesson, but I kind of want to see if it's possible to finish this quest of the war. Spells and incantations cannot exist without magic linguistics. Each mag magic linguistic is charged with a measurable amount of power. If you can use it well, then you have you can say you have become 
You have come of age as a wizard. Is that really part of the episode? I don't know. Let me check the other one. Oh, you have to speak to Mr. Oakley about it. Okay. Interesting. And what's the time frame for this? Okay, we have till the December 7th, so we're swimming in time as long as we don't forget about it. Um, but yeah, I kind of wanted, and I'm, I'm hoping, it's still kind of a pipe dream, but I'm hoping this will be like a, a fairly complete playthrough of the game, so I, I do feel bad about missing the end of that Mr. Vlad and Vivian episode. I could have talked to Vivian the last time, but it totally swept my mind. Actually, I think I think the episode was over quite a while ago. I think we just, uh, yeah, I think we missed it too much. Um, yeah, I guess we'll check out Fungi Forest and see if we can see a fairy. If not, maybe we come back without Aurora. Naomi's style is growing on me a bit, and I do like her, like, Japanese style. Alright. Okay, I don't see anything now. Oh, okay. Wow. Holy shit. Why were you able to summon me? Very impressive. Or why you were able to summon me? Very impressive. It's a pleasure to meet you. Few have ever actually seen us. Even among the magic users at your school, we are ever present in your world. It's just that you can, can normally cannot see nor communicate with us. In fact, we can only reveal you ourselves to you once. I hope you will treasure this precious moment for the rest of your life. Perhaps one day you will tell your children about this day. May you and your kind never forget about us. Huh, it's cute. Okay, so I'm really glad I did it in both locations because I really did not think... Like, I guess this is the fungi forest and the rest is the woods, right? But I... It didn't really occur to me that that's what they meant. And now we have like 80,000 May Lilies instead of the mushrooms that I was going to collect. But that's fun. Oh, I wonder if Aurora, did you see her too? Her warm bath is great to relax. Mom always tells me I should take care of my skin. But when I stay in the bath for a really long time, the ends of my fingers get all wrinkly. Do you have fingers, Aurora? I think you just have flapping fins or whatever. My senses tell me. Do you think that's bad for my skin? Maybe. I don't know. I guess that's why babies are so wrinkly, because they're, like, in fluid for the first nine months. I guess that makes sense. And then they get, like, softer after they come out. Cool. Well, I hate to tell you, Aurora, but we gotta move on with our day. So it's been real, but we should probably part ways for now. But let's pick this up again later. I'm trying to think if there's anything else I need to do today. I feel like there was more stuff I said I was gonna do, but it's just not occurring to me. Oh, I said I would plant berries for Mikey. So then, Joff, what classes are you looking to take? Let's learn about party poppers. I've never been into the party scene, but I can learn how to do poppers. For today, let's study about party popper magic. Use this kind of magic to, to sound like a party popper and really liven up a party. Now, to use body popper magic, you first need to transform into a wizard. Load this spell into your staff, just as is shown at the blackboard. Oh, my back. Uh, uh, well, it's now time for questions, so who should I ask? Ask, ask me, Mr. Ugly. Well, for party part for magic, besides magic and flower, the magic linguistic spell must be chanted. 
instrument, of course. <laughs> you got it right. You've really been listening to my lesson, eh? Jeff, you certainly are a remarkable child. Make sure you keep it up. Amazing. I mean, I wish I were you. That was not Patsy's question. I don't know where that came from. Excuse me. I don't know if I'm burping. I haven't eaten anything all day. I did have a boba tea, though. So that's probably why. Okay, I have to remember to retake that Vladim Vladimir class, though, because... Um, I feel like there was something I wanted to talk to Aurora about. fly strips. Sorry. <laughs> Back to Magician's Quest. No, seriously, I thought there was something I wanted to talk to Aurora about. I might just be misremembering, though, but... Okay, I think I got it. Sorry, I just brushed the microphone. I literally said earlier, I'm sorry if I swat and hit the microphone or something, and I, I was joking, but it actually happened. <laughs> I'm really sorry if that was uh, bad for the microphone, or like like it, you heard it and it sounded bad. Like it, I know if you even like bump a microphone slightly, it, the results are horrendous. Um, yeah, so I'm gonna sell the stuff Got him. Ooh, my foot's falling asleep. That's interesting. Don't know where that is. I got this chair on Facebook Marketplace. I, like, went to this like hardcore flea market, and like took them a while to pull this out of storage, and they charged me five dollars more, which is like, I don't know. I felt I felt a little scummy, but it is a good chair. But like, if you put something on Facebook Marketplace and you take a picture of that chair, they were like, oh, that chair is without arms are, are that price, but the chair is with arms. Okay, well the picture, you, the chair you took a picture of had arms, so why did you put uh, the lower price on it? Um, they sold to me tax-free though, but you know, still. It felt a little scummy. What was I doing? Oh yeah, I need to plan. Oh, I should, uh, I guess I should check with Malila. I think it's, I know Blueberry is one of them. I actually probably only need to, oh, I don't know. Oh, no, I don't need this. Actually, I probably do. Space. Too much grass. What does that mean? There's grass everywhere. What kind of grass are you talking about? Okay, they don't want to be too close to each other. Oh. Just asked her to say the same thing three times in a row. It's not very nice. Um, okay, I'm pretty sure cranberry is another kind, but I don't remember the third kind. It's either raspberry or blackberry. what I should be able to record so I should just buy all four and just grow all four of them it's not like I'm gonna lose money in any case like they're always worth it I mean they need to each be sell for less than 33 rich and that barely ever happens so let's give that a shot small chance that like I have this totally wrong and it's strawberry or like it depends on your town or something so in this town is strawberry it's possible but I, I think I don't think that's true so okay 
So I'll, okay, they said not too much grass. So does that mean they want it like in the greenish area? Okay, so there's one. I'll plant one down here. Probably kind of close to the quadrangle. Hey, Mikey. Yeah, so is this a good spot? Oh, there was another May Lily. I'm dumb. I'm hoping it's the light grass that's good. Or maybe it has nothing to do with this. I know in Animal Crossing it really has nothing to do with how the ground looks. Like, I used to think that grass versus dirt in Animal Crossing made a big difference, but it absolutely does not. Okay, well, that one's growing in, like, not a grassy area. Or, like, not a light green area. I don't know. I'll put one, like, right here, like, around here, so it's sort of in the way, I guess. This experiment to see how things go. And then I'll plant one up here somewhere. Um, yeah, I hope, I hope these are okay spots. I really have no blessed clue. Okay, but I think that's everything. Um, normally I would go back and listen to some music, but I, th I think this episode feels pretty complete as it is. Um, so yeah. Thanks a lot for watching. I really appreciate it. It means a lot. Um, if you did, of course. If you get to the end of the video, I'm assuming you watched it. But either way, I mean, even if you literally just watched the first five seconds and then watched the end of the video to, to hear me saying this, I still appreciate, I still appreciate you watching an email. Um... And yeah, take care of yourself. Feel free to leave a comment with any thoughts, complaints, outrages, ventings, impromptu therapy sessions, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. Um, but yeah, take care of yourself, and uh, I'll see you next time. Or I know I'm not technically seeing you, and you're not even technically seeing me. You're seeing Geoff, the magician's quest character. But anyway, you know what I'm saying. Bye for now. <laughs>